To begin, you want to stand sideways to a wall because you're going to be leaning into it for some, for some extra balance and support. You're going to place one hand on the front of your stomach and one hand behind the low back. This is so that you can monitor the curve in your low back and make sure that you're not hinging from the low back. We want to isolate the hinge to the hip and pelvic region. Okay, now from this position here, you're going to remain standing on the inside leg and you're going to bend forward while side leaning into the wall till your torso is close to horizontal, return up and repeat. And keep that back leg as straight as you can, toes pulled to the shin. So this is going to help clean up the hinge pattern by training you to hinge more from this area here and not from the low back because a low back hinge movement strategy is associated with a lot of low back injuries, aches and pains. As you get better, I want you to progress to not being on the wall, but I would have you face a bench or something that you could put your hands down onto in case you need to for balance and comfort, just like this. Now, sometimes people don't have the shoulder mobility to reach behind their low back. In those cases, I have people do the spine lock by having one hand on the chest, one hand on the stomach, and making sure that you're not bending your spine. A further progression when you're ready is to have your arms down by your sides with your palms forward and to pause for five seconds in the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, returning back up and repeating. This is an excellent exercise for single leg stance stability, foot and ankle stability, knees, hips, and also helps to optimize the hinge and bend movement pattern.